far as woods are concerned, if a player is a strummer, they're gonna have a few different needs than somebody who's a fingerstyle player. But it's not as clear and direct as play a guitar made with these woods, play a guitar made with these woods if you're a fingerstyle player. Because you also have to take into account the context that you're gonna use the instrument in, as well as what kind of a guitar it is, how big a guitar, what kind of a sound you want, and are you playing by yourself? Are you playing as a vocal accompanist? Are you playing in a band? You gotta take all the factors into account, right? Oftentimes, we hear, think of a strummer, and you're, you know, you're looking at this kind of a rhythm player, real aggressive maybe. In that case, I would tend to lean towards what I call the drier sounding woods. So the woods that are a little more fundamental strong. They don't have quite so thick an overtone aspect to them. So I'd steer someone away from rosewood. I'd steer them away from cocobolo or something really hard and dense like that. Because those woods tend to emphasize this overtone series a little more dramatically. When you mix a heavy handed strummer with a wood like that, especially on a larger body guitar, the resulting sound is so thick, you start to lose the definition, and it won't actually serve your musical purpose all that well. It kind of gets lost into this mushy mess of a sound soup. So mahogany would be a great choice. Blackwood is a great choice. Koa is a good choice. Maple is a very transparent choice and can be ideal in a lot of contexts. So those woods that are a little more fundamental strong and a little more reflective will better suit somebody who's really laying into the guitar. If I was a fingerstyle player, a lot of times I'm playing something that has a little more intricacy and has a lot more melodic uh, components to it, more melodic lines, single note lines, a lot of higher register material. In that case, there's the space for a more, a more harmonically dense kind of response out of the guitar. So in those cases, oftentimes I'll gravitate back towards those woods that give me a higher overtone aspect. So the rosewoods, the cocobolo, the East Indian rosewood, koa and blackwood are a nice kind of mix in that regard. Or if, I'm, if I really want uh, to hear a, like a, a sophisticated arrangement, Maple is still like the bomb. That's like the wood because it's so transparent and so player reflective. You'll hear everything that's played. So if you play it in a harmonically rich way, that's what you're gonna get. So as general guidelines for a strummer, I lean towards the drier woods. For a finger style player, I would lean towards the more harmonically rich sounding woods. But you gotta take everything into account. Mm -hmm.